a song of Africa, of the people from whom I have sprung. It tells of the longing of the poor African for the light, the light of knowledge and education, and for the higher and finer things of life. Yes, it is quite true that in the primitive crawl and hut of Africa, there is a natural desire for uplift, a realization of better things attainable, and the urge to a better standard of living, just as in any home in Europe or America. When you are shown pictures of Africans doing their ancient war dances or other traditional picturesque ceremonials, you may, you may be inclined to think, not understanding their culture, that such people are still very primitive, not capable of education and unable to appreciate all the blessings of civilization. Such a wrong idea this film will certainly help to correct. In remote and inaccessible parts of the vast continent of Africa, there are groups still very primitive in dress and manners, but these people are becoming fewer and fewer. As a matter of fact, there are races in Europe and Asia in the primitive state, but one does not assess European or Asiatic capabilities by them. And so it is in Africa. If you inquire among the native schools, colleges, missions, and those in close contact with the African in his homeland, you will find that there is no difference whatever between the capacity of the African and of the Europeans. This may surprise many of you. But European headmasters and teachers will tell you that African boys and girls learn as quickly as their European pupils. They pass the same examinations and qualify as teachers, clergymen, lawyers, doctors, and in the various practical crafts although generally they have great difficulty in practicing these professions. I am glad to be able to introduce this film to you, 
because it gives you a true idea of the African of today and of how he is adapting himself to modern life. Johannesburg is celebrating the jubilee of the founding of the city. This film will help you to understand the vital part the African has played in the prosperity of that splendid city and of South Africa. For without his cooperation, the great wealth of the gold, diamond, and other mines could not have been won. The splendid physique and powers of endurance of the African, as well as his natural skill and ability, were indispensable to that achievement. Science has shown that we are all the products of our environment. And so the poor African in the back of house shack or in the crawl or town location all aspire to better conditions and more opportunities for education, self-development, and a useful place in the world. My people can always express themselves best in music or song. And I can round off this introduction in no better way than by giving you the second verse of the song with which I commenced. 